Welcome to this episode of My Electric Earth. Look what I picked up today. A Tesla wall connector. Well, is it, it's not like you are anonymous when you are uh, picking up this from the post office. The lady that uh, gave me said that, are you going to charge your Tesla now? Yeah, I am. Okay, so here I have the Tesla wall connector that uh, I just received. And I haven't opened the package yet, so let's do an unboxing of this uh, product and see what's inside the package I have. I, well, I, I know that there is this wall box, but besides from this, I don't know how it looks like inside here. So let's, um, let's open and see what happens and what we can find in here. Okay, some cover, let's remove this one and see what's happening here. Okay, so first we have the, some kind of instruction here and then we have some kind of box here. This is uh, apparently the unit itself, let's see how it looks like. So this is the unit itself here, the black one, and then what's in here? Here is the cable. Here I need a tool to open here. So apparently you see the cable here and the charging contact is here. Let's see how it looks like. Yeah, and here is the charging contact which go into the car. Yeah. Apparently is, is this having this button here to open yeah it has the button to open so we'll see how it looks like there and what else is here there is some mounting mounted kit here with some screws and some other stuff and this is probably to mount the, this thing on the wall and uh, Here is also, I don't know what this is and what this is really, but we'll find out later. Okay, so here is the, the electrical contact that needs to be connected to the electric grid. And this is a three phase here. You have the three phases, neutral and ground. So that uh, shouldn't be any bigger issues. And apparently this thing should probably sit, be mounted in on this one in some, some way. Let's see how it works. Yeah, it should probably be put on like this in some way. Like this. And then you have the connections to the grid you put here from, from, from the grid. Okay, so now it's just to order an electrician, professional electrician to come here and mount this in my garage. The Tesla wall connector can be connected in different ways, depending on how much amps you can pull from your main fuse.
The wall connector can deliver up to 32 amps in this European version and can be configured both in a one or a three phase configuration. Well, why should you have a wall connector done like this? Well, you can pull much more power out of the wall connector when it's proper installed, so you can charge your car much faster. Using a normal Shuko contact will take a very long time and there is a risk, a slight small risk of overheating the Shuko contact which can burn the contact and uh, that is really not good. And finally, I would like to underline that do not attempt to install this product yourself. Call your certified electrician and they will help you to do this in a safe way. It's very important that this is done the correct way, otherwise it's both illegal and dangerous. That's all for this episode of My Electric Earth. Have a great life!